Hello and welcome to Activating Greatness. I'm Nathan Crane, an award-winning author, documentary filmmaker, and health and wellness expert. And I'm Derek Crane, a certified personal trainer, health and fitness coach, and trainer of professional athletes. Each week, we broadcast new episodes with experts on life, health, fitness, business, and leadership to help you manifest the greatness that's already within you. Activating Greatness is about helping you live your life to your fullest potential and live with more meaning, purpose, health, and fulfillment. In this episode, we're talking with Master Ming Tang Gu, who is named Qigong Master of the Year by the 13th World Congress on Qigong and Traditional Chinese Medicine. Over 20 years ago, Master Ming Tang began Qigong training under Dr. Peng Ming, a Qigong Grandmaster trained in both Western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine, and the founder of the world's largest Qigong hospital. During his training, Master Ming Tong observed thousands of cases of chronic and incurable diseases being healed at this medicineless hospital, which has now treated over 200,000 patients with over 185 different illnesses with a 95% effective improvement rate. Master Ming Tong is the founder of the Qi Center, a healing retreat center in Santa Fe, New Mexico, helping thousands of people around the world improve their health, vitality, and spiritual connection, and reaches millions of people online through his videos, YouTube, uh, Facebook, eBooks, trainings, and online courses, all available at qicenter.com. And before we dive into this incredible episode with Master Ming Tung Gu, we want to thank our sponsors for helping make this podcast possible for you. Performance tea is something both Derek and I drink and love. One thing we really like about it is that it's handcrafted in small batches and made of the best medicinal herbs. We're both huge believers and consumers of herbs and love the healing benefits that herbal medicine brings to the body. Go to performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. They have incredible teas for energy, focus, recovery, and balance. Again, that's performancetea.com and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount today. So if you're ready to activate your greatness within, let's begin. Master Ming Tong, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan, Derek, for this uh, opportunity. And I like the title, Activating the Greatness. <laughs> so let's do this. <laughs> Absolutely. So to begin, can you please explain to our listeners what Qigong really is uh, for anyone who might not know? Oh, yes. Um, Qigong, on one hand, definitely is new in this culture here, in the Western culture. But also, actually, it's uh, really a secret, even in China, until 60 years ago, maybe even 40 years ago. So... And Qigong in general has a long history, can really trace back to Yellow Emperor time, which is about 5,000 years old history. It's really a continuous history in the focus on human potential in general. So from the Taoist tradition, focus on immortality, the nature of the nature, and from the TCM tradition, you know, understanding the underlying, energetic underlying of disease and health and, uh, you know, the connection of human being with nature and so on. Then different spiritual tradition continued throughout the history for 5,000 years. And um, the underlying practice Beyond, you know, the philosophy and the cosmology is energetic. And that is um, a system of practice, you know, and came around long history, many branches, many schools, you know, including TCM, martial art, and, um, and spiritual traditions such as Tao tradition, Buddha tradition, Confucius traditions. But uh, this practice has been kept very secretive, not very well known to the mainstream until 40, 50 years ago, even in China. So um, in this case, you know, my teacher, Dr. Pan, who is a founder and of Wisdom Healing Qigong, and he is also an MD scientist and also TCM doctors and as well spiritual uh, teacher. So he incorporating 
what he learned over more than 30 years and putting this ancient knowledge, wisdom, and specifically the secret to practice into a system become available to the public. So it's quite extraordinary, even in China's. And what are the underlying principles of Qigong? Mm, so, so many, but uh, most importantly is this uh, deeper knowledge or deeper wisdom perception that recognizing the existence of the universe beyond the form, beyond the physical. So there's a subtle energy beyond just the energy of, you know, electromagnetic, you know, so on, the energy of the sun and the energy of the sound, so on, we now recognize and more, start to pay more and more attention. You know, even scientifically, we're making progress, recognizing the energetic importance of the existence. But also there's a much, much more subtle energy, including consciousness, is a form of sort of energy has a great impact on not only in our life but also in the existence the whole cycle of existence of the universe so that is a deeper spiritual dimension now the new science has a new understanding, greater discovery pointing to the same wisdom but this wisdom being available from the ancient time for few peoples, you know, for a small percentage of peoples. So they're developing these practice, you know, simultaneous happen according to um, perception of life, cosmology of life, but also the practice allow you to discover this connection with subtle energy, with the great existence of the universe. So this recognition is really allow you to know that uh, what you're experiencing in the physical dimension, including health, well-being, you know, fitness, including you know, what you can accomplish in this world is based on something invisible, something intangible, something beyond conventional science can understand. So that is uh, one of the most important recognition. Then based on that is really about a practice, a system of practice for you to access this connection with subtle energy and access this deeper potential within your body, physical body, emotional body as well, mental, energetic experience of yourself. So when you're accessing that source, so to speak, then you're awakening, you know, awakening the greater potential, which is always there you're born with. <laughs> so every one of us has a you know, much greater potential. I think that everybody knows intuitively, you know, in the gut feeling, that's where you know, now so many different knowledges, self-help programs, you know, different kind of health care programs and mind-body practice program, spiritual practice, you know, everybody's searching for because you know something inside of you, <laughs> awakening, longing, seeking, you know, to realize the full potential. So um, specific energetic practice from the Qigong tradition is focus on the wholeness, you know, the wholeness of the entire energy system beyond the form, beyond the physical. Not only how connecting with the subtle energy, but recognizing the form, formless, not only interacting, but they're really one system. So the energetic wholeness is the main principle we're working with, from which healing can happen and awakening can happen and greater potential you can access. Uh, thank you. Absolutely astounding. And how is Qigong different than yoga? Good question. In yoga is more well known, but originally from India, you know, and Qigong is from China. Actually, they're very parallel to each other. So you can think of it as a Chinese version of yoga and does have a specific different flavor, not so much of Chinese flavor, but specifically 
um, you know, in more, let's say, focus on health, well-being, longevity, and also spiritual awakening as well. So often, you know, people are familiar with the movement in general, movement in yoga and qigong. Qigong more like flowing movement. Yoga is more like posture, from one posture to another postures. And so there's many, a few unique quality, but this energetic principle, I believe, is very similar, very universal among these uh, traditions. Yeah, speaking to that from my own personal experience, before I met you and before I started practicing wisdom healing Qigong, you know, I didn't really know much about it. I, I thought it was, yeah, some energy, but mostly movements, right? And when I actually came to the retreat at the Chi Center and I actually practiced, you know, with retreat, we practiced all day for like five to seven days nonstop and then left there and I've been continuing to practice every day. Um, it, it's very clear that it's significantly different from yoga in my experience because I did years and years of yoga in the sense that, uh, as you explained earlier, about it's really about connecting to to the energy around you, in you, that wholeness, connecting to source and really feeling. Like I know for me, I really started sensing, seeing, and feeling that the, we call it subtle energy, but for me it wasn't so subtle, right? The, the powerful <laughs> energy. <laughs> and, right. And it goes so deep, right? There's, there's meditation involved, there's visualization along with the movement and chanting and sound healing. Like it's, it's actually, an incredible system, uh, what Wisdom Healing Qigong is. I, it's just taking me to deeper, deeper levels of uh, spiritual and physical uh, practice and awakening in myself. Absolutely, that's a kind of common, you know, experience. People come from different backgrounds and, um, you know, experience a lot of different, you know, modality, then suddenly, oh my God, <laughs> I can feel chi, which is the energy, the life forces. And once the switch is on, you know, then it's like this connection is made, then you feel stronger, stronger over time, especially through the practice. So it's really, from my experience, I feel, Wisdom healing Qigong is very accessible and very tangible, experiential. And same time, it's like does not require, you know, any kind of belief system or any tools, any you know weather weather condition. Anyone can practice at any ages, young, middle age, and all, you know, different spiritual or cultural or religious background or from, you know, um, different, you know, health, you know, challenging, you know, conditions. So it's very accessible. That's what I, one of the quality I love, you know, very much. So before you started uh, Qigong, you had asthma, scoliosis, chronic pain, a lot of health issues, right? Can you tell us a little bit about uh, that experience and, and what happened when, when you started practicing? It's interesting, speaking of the difference between yoga and qigong, I, you know, before I did a qigong seriously, I tried yoga <laughs> seriously, I couldn't do it <laughs> because of my health issues, you know, especially sclerosis, this posture is just impossible, impossible, and excruciatingly painful, so I made a promise to myself, I have to do something about it, then discovered qigong is much more gentle, much more soft, much more accessible, so still so in the beginning, of course, it's challenging because of my health issue. But um, I discovered Qigong not because of my health challenges. And, you know, I knew this challenge was there from my childhood and diagnosed as incurable and chronic or whatever you call. So that means nothing you can do about from a conventional point of view. So I had to basically adapt to it. So one of the adaptions is basically not to deal with it. <laughs> not, so, not, not to deal with it is what you said? Right, right, right. right. So even including, I, you know, 
consciously or subconsciously I choose to study mathematics, which is very mental, very intellectual. So I don't have to deal with this body, difficult challenges, pain, suffering, and so on. And so eventually, you know, and I, when I discover Qigong is for spiritual reason, you know, on one hand, it's really, you know, we're all asking these deep questions, you know, what's the meaning of life, you know, why are we here, <laughs> who am I, you know, but deeply the, in the experiential level, you know, we're all searching for, for happiness, searching for fulfillment. I think in that search, I discover, discover Qigong, wisdom, healing Qigong. You know, often we say when the students is ready, <laughs> the teacher naturally show up. <laughs> and in this case, not only a teacher, but also the past naturally showing up. So it was resonated with me very quickly, discovered this is a whole system. It's very integrative, it's very progressive, and literally able to, you know, quickly I discover can not only nourishing my need of um, spiritual need, the soul's need, but also my emotional need as well, physical need, including the benefit of healing these uh, extremely challenging disease. So quickly I went to China to study more once I discovered uh, here in U.S. And how can someone find happiness in their lives when they're experiencing, let's say, physical pain or emotional pain? That is um, one of the secrets I discover in Qigong, you know. And I wasn't happy as a boy for many reasons. One could be in you know, a physical challenge, illness caused me, you know, um, difficulties in life and that, you know, feel that limitation, but also the way I grew up in childhood. It was very challenging emotionally, also spiritually. So, you know, as I be, I mean, what was searching for a different way, trying to be happy was not successful. <laughs> so until I discovered the secret, the secret is energy, is energy. The energy in the beyond the physical body, beyond your health condition, beyond your story of what life is good and bad, right, wrong, why this happened to me, you know, you know, all these concepts, the story, limiting us to experience uh, true happiness. So the way to go beyond that is literally discovering the energy. In this case, the short answer is discovering the energy not only in your body, in this case, the energy in your heart, in this case, is responsible for your happiness. So that's mean when the energy of your heart is contracted, then you're experiencing less happiness. Your happiness contracted. <laughs> when the energy of your heart open, then your happiness start awakening, opening, you know, expanding, even able to share with others, people around you start to feel that joy. So you have to feel it inside of you first. So when our happiness is depends on other condition, your past, your present, your worry of the future, ultimately you're limiting your happiness. And the happiness is, is let's say, unreliable. <laughs> it's depending on other condition. It's not, uh, you know, well, let's say, um, what's the word? Um, permanent, not long lasting, not sustainable, let's put that another way, yeah. And uh, if your happiness is based on, you know, uh, whatever your health, for example, then also you're not reliable, you're limiting yourself. So when you're discovering the energy in your body, in your heart, in this case, then you can discover that happiness is internal, it's uh, unconditional, it's, it's this life impulse, like the blueprint is inside of you. You have this birthright, you have this energy, you can experience in this happiness. And so the point is, it takes practice. You see, on one hand, you see, your mind has to open enough 
say that's possible. <laughs> then you have to do it. When you do the practice, then you start to feel this happiness awakening inside your heart when the energy opening, moving again. Then you're building on the experience over the time, become a new, let's say, new habit, new connection. Then you can tap into the happiness more, you know, effectively, <laughs> and including your mind has a capacity to tap into the energy. Then definitely experiencing greater joy, greater capacity to fulfill life. Beautiful. And in relationship to emotional pain and physical pain, I wanted to ask you because so often, you know, people who have knee pain or back pain or neck pain or, or chronic diseases that flare up, right? So often when it shows up in the physical, we relate it to the physical. We say, oh, this physical thing caused it or this physical thing caused it. But but what you teach and what Qigong teaches, which I think is incredibly powerful, is how the energy of our emotions, our mind, and what you call energy blockages actually manifest in the physical body, oftentimes causing these pains. Can you talk more about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, on one hand, might be true when we're thinking, oh, yeah, um, and something, you know, you, you had an accident, you're not walking mindfully, suddenly, you know, hurt your knee, thinking that in accident causing the knee problem. Then over the time, you become, it become, you know, not only worse, worse, but it's beyond the accident and causing chronic pain. Even beyond the knee, could it be affecting the hip, affecting other part of the body. So that's kind of a linear way of we looking at it. But they really, you know, asking the question, what I'm causing the overall energetic blockages. You know, for this isolated event, might be, you know, you, 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 you fall down, you know, but what causes you fall down? You know, <laughs> you would be not present enough, you know, and you're thinking other thoughts when you're walking or running, whatever. But what causing that, you know, overall stress of your life, <laughs> you know. So it's one of the main, you know, um, thing we're addressing is the, the stress, the physical stress, emotional stress of the histories, including even trauma, including your childhood experience, including, you know, what happened in your relationship, what happened on your trip, you know, last year. Yeah, all that is kind of stress signal, imprints, energetic imprints, you know, is not only affecting you uh, at the moment when they happened, but actually is... Uh, contracting your energy, then that new energy, contract energy pattern stored in your system, that affecting everything else you do. So similarly, you know, food, you know, other things. So what I'm trying to really educate people to understand is everything you're experiencing in this moment is the result of a cumulative history of your life. Mm. And you can include in your own personal history or including history of your families, history of your, you know, whatever uh, you're interacting. So including the environment affecting you also directly. So it's so not a, trying to narrow down this, 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 not that. You know, everything is affecting you. So by knowing that, you can access the energy inside of you making the deep change because the energetic imprints is inside of you what happened in the past you cannot change it what happened right now around you you may have less control <laughs> but what's happening inside of you that's the key that's the secret that's the place you can start to make change so when you're making a change inside of you, you're also changing the imprints from the past. Also you're changing the way responding to what's around you in this moment. So you have a much greater, not just control, but a greater choice of your energetic function. 
energetic function inside you, which is affecting your body function, emotional function, emotional experience, as well mental, spiritual connection. That's you know, the approach. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I, I, <clears throat> I'm reminded, as you're saying that, of, you know, I've spent uh, a number of years studying transpersonal psychology and hypnotherapy and uh, psychotherapy and all these things, which eventually leads you to uh, studying and understanding and trying to change the subconscious part of our mind, right? And so those of us who've been deep into that work for a long time, um, often that work is identifying those uh, emotional blockages or emotional traumas or things like that and then being aware of them and then healing them. But I remember uh, asking you probably a few months back, about this and about how qigong and energy relates to emotional trauma and healing the, the subconscious and and i think correct me if i'm wrong i think you told me that oftentimes through wisdom healing qigong it's not about identifying those things because it's all energy and through the practice you release that energy and those blockages and the healing happens automatically is, is that right absolutely it's not about identify the symptom or identify the immediate cause, that's most time what we do. You identify, you know, really making a deeper connection what's in your body in this moment, mm -hmm. yeah. And so wherever you're feeling the energetic contraction, and that is affecting not only your emotional experience of this moment, but also your physical, you know, biological, physical function of the body, as well the way you're thinking. Yeah, limited thinking or negative thinking or stressful thinking. So that is the energetic cause inside of you. So it's, as you said, it's in the subconscious level. You cannot easily mentally identify. Mentally identify is not only it's like the, on the surface, mm. but what's inside of you. It's in your body, it's in your organ, it's in your tissue. What's inside of you is the subtle energy. So when you get into that, if you're looking at only the physical body, then you feel limited to make change. Yeah. And, you know, unless you're using the drug, using other physical means to interfere the physical condition. But when you identify the subtle energy, which is responsible for this uh, expression in the physical, emotional, mental, spiritual level, then the, the subtle energy is high frequency. So this means you can change m much more faster. <laughs> so through so the practice, you, you empower yourself to change these subtle energy patterns from contraction to openness, from let's say, you know, numbness, sleepiness to wakefulness, from isolation to connection, yeah, from blockages to flow, then the, the whole system starts to awaken into the next level of uh, optimum functions. The change naturally starts to happen. So when you say identify, that's the only problem, that's the only causes, then mm -hmm. you're still isolating yourself right you're working with the whole system so one of the key as i mentioned in the beginning the main governed energetic principle is how to awaken in energy into the wholeness to your whole system encompassing the physical emotional mental spiritual encompassing every you know part of your body encompassing every aspect of yourself even beyond your personal, your family, you know, energetic lineages, as well, you know, our community, you know, we're living in, in this earthly condition, we're living in. And how does one heal emotional pain? Like through, let's say someone's going through depression or deep anxiety, and they want to heal that, how would they go about that? So good question, you know, common approach, you know, we know 
mental process such as psychology and so on has a great benefit for emotional healing then also we now know say yeah like you know when you do physical exercise you feel emotionally feel better right releasing certain suppressed emotions such as anger you know fear worry so these uh, you, you like approaching it mentally yeah then physically that's how a common approach so the energy approach is more like in the middle is you know in this case is beyond the mind beyond just those exercises what we do is in this case one of the practice is the sound vibration you're activating energy inside the organs so the vibration for example the sound you know awakening the the energy of the heart then the contractions start open the energy opening in your heart beyond just the physical heart is a vibration energy openings up then you're feeling joy so then that become a new pattern when you're repeating this new new pattern of joy so then the all energetic uh, you know say um, unhappiness <laughs> and pain of your heart start to heal in this process so because all energy inside of you, we recognize the energy is inside of you, even when you're experiencing unhappiness or pain, but the energy is contracted. So when you open in that energy, and the energy healed itself, all stories start to release, replaced by new experience of happiness. So that's one of the most powerful approach using sound using vibration that beyond mental you know analysis and also beyond just physical exercises getting to the deeper dimension of the energy system so this year is really unique for for you as a master teacher and for the chi center right because uh this is the first year that the pure consciousness teachings or pure consciousness retreats are going to be available, right? Um, and so I know at the Chi Center, there's uh, healing intensive retreats, which are often people with chronic diseases and deep emotional trauma that come and stay for a week or up to six weeks and go through deep, deep, you know, physical, mental, emotional healing. But now you're coming out with or sharing uh, this pure consciousness uh, teachings, spirit consciousness retreats. What's the difference? And um, maybe you share with us a little bit of, of, of what that looks like and what pure consciousness mm -hmm. means. So the essence of wisdom, healing, qigong is really wisdom, healing. <laughs> qigong <laughs> means <laughs> cultivating energy. <laughs> Qi is energy. Gong means practice and the ability to cultivate energy. So the whole name called Wisdom Healing Qigong. So the essence is really wisdom, is really consciousness. So awakening your consciousness, connecting your deeper essence, deeper wisdom, and tap into the creative power of energy. Then as a result, you're experiencing as healing. Healing is the three levels, physical healing, emotional healing, mental, spiritual healing. So it's really about awakening the full consciousness. So, you know, in the past, you know, most people maybe know us from a point of view of physical healing, including deal with, you know, severe challenging condition, such as, you know, chronic incurable condition. So many people, you know, experiencing total recovery. And so most of them in few, you know, days, few weeks experiencing greater improvement of all these conditions without depends on medicines. So that's what in general we're famous for. But once people in the dorm, you know, I'm very, you know, very clear, the healing is coming from wisdom. So in order to connecting with energy, you have to cultivate, you know, wisdom. So consciousness and the energy is really two sides of the same equation. <laughs> so sometimes people like, I want more energy, more energy, want to focus on the power of energy, the healing, benefit of energy, and so on. But without consciousness, without wisdom, you cannot really access that energy. So sometimes people is like, focus on this consciousness, consciousness, you know, then they, they, 
they're like transcending the existence of the physical dimension or even energy, then it's kind of get lost in there. Difficult to, you know, bring this gift of consciousness to embodiment, to application or life, including health. So in general, you know, I have been emphasizing both, especially when students come to us, once they're in the door, <laughs> say, that's how you do it. That's how you can experience the benefit. Not only just physical healing, but you have to, you know, um, access your consciousness. So what Nathan, you know, you mentioned that is I'm really excited uh, from this year on, we're going to bring this to the public more. Yeah, especially emphasizing the power of conscious, the accessibility of consciousness, and uh, for everybody to benefit, including when you're cultivating consciousness, when you purposefully connecting with energy, then you can bring the benefit of health, well-being, but also emotional healing as well, mental, spiritual awakening to your life, including, you know, creativity, leadership capacity. So just kind of more emphasize that. And the, the practice of consciousness historically considered as the highest level practice and depends on the students, you know, um, quality you know, histories. So, so now, you know, we, we are approaching it, make this more accessible right away, it depends on students' history. Again, many people can get a full, you know, benefit, but many people can gradually tap into whatever next level of awakening. <laughs> then from there, they can bring more benefit to their life, including health and well-being. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I'm really excited too. Uh, I know we got to taste a, a little tiny piece of that uh, at the team leadership retreat that I was at with you recently, and it is powerful. I can't wait to uh, see and experience more of it. And for those tuning in, uh, if you're interested in retreats or online courses, those things, go to chi-center.com. We'll put the link in the show notes below. It's chi is spelled C-H-I, center. So it's just chi-center.com. All the information is there about events, online courses, programs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we also wanted to share a little um, experience. I know we don't have a lot of time left, but you had offered to share a little experience of, of uh, what's called setting the chi field. And this is, I would, I would say, is like one of the most basic but important and first thing you do at the beginning of any practice, right? As I've learned this setting the chief field, I actually do this five or six times a day now. And I, it, it's beautiful because you can do it in a short time, either before going into a meeting. I do it uh, after I'm done working out. I'll do it in the morning. Uh, it, it's so applicable and it instantly connects you to that chief field, that source energy. And it's beautiful and powerful. So um, you had offered to, to guide us through um, and everyone listening, guide us through a, a short example of setting the chi field. Um, and so, so if we could do that, that'd be beautiful. And before we do, I want to say if anyone's listening to this while you're driving, uh, probably not the best time to do this. Maybe pause it, go home, and then do this when you get home. But again, you can do this pretty much anywhere, anytime, um, besides driving. <laughs> Great. I'm happy to do this. So let's do a short version and um, just allow yourself connecting with your body if you're sitting or standing internally allow yourself straighten your spine internally and whenever you're ready i can make sure you're safe so you can gently close your eyes inwardly connecting with your own body inwardly acknowledging embracing all the sensations, feelings, experience of life inside of your own body as pure expression of pure energy, subtle energy, 
visible, invisible, tangible, and the subtle. And continuously, playfully, creatively, open your mind, connecting. Connecting with the subtle energy of the earth beneath you. The power of the earth. The subtle energy of the earth. Gathering into your body, gathering into the inner space of your energy body, continuously opening, connecting with the infinite energy of the universe above you, visible, invisible, the ocean of source energy of the entire universe. Gathering to this room, gathering to this energy field, gathering to this energy body, permeating to the deeper dimension of the energy body, continuously awakening, opening. Opening to the ocean of serenity in front of you. Expanding beyond the horizon. Continuously relaxing, opening, expanding to the serenity behind you. Expanding beyond the horizon. Continuously relaxing, opening, expanding to the subtle energy on the left side of you. Expanding beyond the horizon. Continuously relaxing, opening, expanding to the subtle energy on the right side of you. Expanding beyond the horizon. Continuously relaxing, opening, connecting with the infinite, infinite source energy of the entire universe. Gathering, awakening, opening inside of you. Feeling the pure energy of your big heart. Awakening, opening. Awakening, opening with a deeper purpose, the shared purpose, the highest purpose of healing of yourself, healing of others, healing of life, the deeper awakening of your wholeness, Connecting with your highest vision of your life on the planet Earth. With the connection with all the communities.
the pure wisdom energy of collective, accumulative, local, non-local, naturally awakening, naturally opening, naturally connecting, naturally flowing deeper and deeper inside of you. Feeling the gentle inner smile, acknowledging, allowing the pure source energy, continuously awakening, opening, flowing, fulfilling the deepest purpose of this life in this body on this planet Earth. And slowly, gently, with your awareness, moving your body freely, freely, and gently open your eyes slowly, slowly, how la, we say how la means all is well and getting better, <laughs> getting better in all of your function of physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, when you're accessing the source energy, accessing the wisdom, accessing the creative powers inside of you. How la. How la. That was absolutely incredible. Thank you, thank you. And final question here is, what would you recommend people do today to start activating their greatness within? Mm. Again, anything allow you to access the energy, awakening your consciousness, connecting your true purpose, or taking your life to another level. <laughs> so <laughs> you may start, you know, the meditation as we did, or using the Qigong movement, sound healing, allow you to start where you're at. So, I'm looking forward you know, to share more with you, whoever is ready to take, tap into the greatness of your soul, greatness of life in general. Beautiful, thank you so much, Master Ming Tong. Uh, those tuning in, I wanna give you a couple resources to kind of go to the next level here as well. One of them is uh, a free ebook you can download. It's called Ancient Chinese Healing Secrets. And that is at chiscenter.com forward slash ancient secrets. It's a really great ebook. It's a fast read. And then there's also a free video series that's a part of it with Master Ming Tong. If you're interested in more of the science and uh, you know how modern science is is basically now proving these ancient thousand year old practices actually how they work and how they're impacting the body and how they're improving the health and uh, you know, so if you're interested in that or learning more about uh, Qigong, Wisdom Healing Qigong in particular, you can download that free ebook. We'll put the link below. And then also, retreats are just wow, such an incredible way to fully experience the, the deeper essence and teachings of this practice. I know for me, that's been one of the, the most powerful things, and I know it's true for so many people. So, uh, those are at chicenter.com. You can learn more about that. Definitely encourage you to, to explore further if you're feeling called. 
Um, Qigong's been, become a big part of uh, my life now and very honored to have Master Ming Tong uh, you as, as my teacher and appreciate you so much for being here with us on Activating Greatness. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, everyone, for sharing your presence. Aula. Aula. That's it for today's episode. Our hope and desire is that you get as much out of these interviews and episodes as we do. Each week, you can count on us being here to help you activate the greatness that's already within you. And we can all do that by continuing to develop and grow our minds, bodies, emotions, and connection to a higher purpose. Please make sure to share this with your friends on Facebook, iTunes, Twitter, and Instagram. Tag Crane Factor and use the hashtag activating greatness so we can continue growing this community together and changing the world for the better. And a huge shout out to our sponsors for making this show possible. Head over to performancetea.com to try their recovery, balance, focused, and energy teas. These teas are made from incredible healing herbal plants that help your body heal, gives you natural energy, helps prevent disease, and help you feel better in every way. Again, that's performance tea, that's T-E-A, performancetea.com, and use the code ACTIVATE15 to get a 15% discount off your order. That code works on their website, and it also works on Amazon. Again, ACTIVATE15, and you'll get a 15% discount off of these amazing teas. We appreciate you tuning in and for supporting our sponsors who make this show possible. Remember, you already have greatness within you. You just need to activate it. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you on the next episode.